Y'all racists grab the white devils and you coons and fuck niggas not taking the serious. A shooting in Fresno, California happened earlier today. The shooter was taken into custody and it has been revealed to be a man named Corey Ali Muhammad, aged 39. This man has a history of black supremacism, and yet there seems to be a lot of confusion about this in the press. Also, his Facebook was deleted in an act that many people feel was a way of covering his associations. Before targeting specifically white people and shooting them in the streets, he yelled, Alu Akbar, which was curiously translated by the Associated Press. Why would they do this? Perhaps they're trying to hide the fact that the man is a Muslim, as stories like this create Islamophobia, as some people claim. We'll take a look at a few short clips that I believe came from his Facebook before it was removed. It's your boy, B. God Muhammad. <laughs> Apparently, y'all racists grab the white devils and you coons and fuck niggas not taking the serious. We will continue to bring destruction and wrath upon America until we establish a kingdom of infinite peace and progress. That's what we're doing. All this fuckery is going to cease. We have greater works to do. Assalamu alaikum, halanahi. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum wakba. Melanoma. Your time is up, y'all coons grab the white devil skunks. Ashe. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum alaikum wakba. Alaikum. I also found a heavy article with these interesting facts. The gunman randomly sprayed rounds at people as he moved through downtown and was previously convicted of a federal drug charge. Muhammad's rambling social media posts include a reference to Donald Trump as a white devil, police shootings, and nation of Islam teachings. The gunman was already wanted in the slaying of a security guard at a Motel 6 and was homeless. Over the past few decades, Specifically, the prison system has become indoctrination centers for convicted felons. Christopher Hitchens explains this very well. Don't um, worry. It's coming to a place near you. Um, the Qurans that are given out in our prison system to Muslim prisoners by Muslim chaplains paid for by Saudi Arabia are Qurans written to the Wahhabi tune. They're not just your everyday Quran. They're the Qurans that the Wahhabis want you to read, containing direct incitement. They've been given out with taxpayers' money in the prison system. Militias are forming. Next, you'll have militias of this kind with their own chaplains within the United States Armed Forces. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to have Wahhabi preachers in the US Armed Forces? You better get ready for it, unless you're going to take the James Madison view that there shouldn't be any chaplains in the US Armed Forces to begin with or in the prison system. People want to pray, you can't stop them. But we cannot have state-subsidized prayer. We cannot have state-subsidized preachers or chaplains. Give it up or give it to your deadliest enemy and pay for the rope that will choke you. This is very urgent business, ladies and gentlemen. I beseech you. And I somehow doubt that all of this radicalization of prisoners is entirely by accident. But anyway, let's switch it to some fun stuff. Let's check out his YouTube page. That should be entertaining. Mastermind Organized. Here's a guy with 31 subscribers, an all caps username, and no channel art with no avatar art. So he clearly puts a lot of thought into his work. And as you can see here, this is only the dankest of rap. Clearly undiscovered talent. And it's clearly a shame that we won't get to hear any more of his Grammy award winning titles. And most people, as you can see, hate his music. But I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself. It's really bad, though. My motivation behind doing this video is really strange, actually. I wasn't initially going to mention it, but I was on Reddit, on R News, which I'm unsubscribed from, by the way. And I commented saying that this was probably all white people's fault. Those dirty snowmen are responsible for all of the world's evil. Something to that effect, anyway. Expecting to get down votes because I was being incredibly sarcastic. But it turns out that, that I echoed the sentiment that many other people were thinking. I was upvoted and positively commented to. It was a little sickening if I'm being entirely honest with you. 